Hey everybody, Brian from AMS Performance here to discuss with you the carbon fiber intake we made for the A90 Toyota Supra. Um, here I've got my beautiful new AMS half zip fleece, also available in full zip in my get after it mug. So with that, let's go get after it. When we go design a product, we're always aiming to solve a problem. And it could be we want to make more power, we want to reduce noise or temperature or something like this. And typically when you're designing an intake, it's not always to increase power just from that. Because a lot of these factory cars nowadays have very efficient systems and they also set themselves to tune and make power off of torque. So even if you reduce restriction, the car won't pick up any power until you tune it afterwards. But as a lot of you are planning on doing and waiting for us to produce, people are gonna go and make aftermarket turbos. So you want something modular that's gonna be work with that, work with different charge pipes. And another thing we wanna do, as always with our products, is we wanna have it easy to install. So you want the thing to drop right in with the factory components, not a lot of modification, not a lot of cutting or anything like that. Just open the hood, old one out, new one in. So we jumped into the concept design stage for this and there was a couple things that we wanted to accomplish. One, we wanted to visually flow with the engine bay. We wanted something that would fit with the car and look almost OEM plus. We want a nice even look to the car. We don't want anything that stands out when you open it. Everything should fit nicely together. We want to be able to go again into the OEM components, the OEM mounts, the grommets, things like that. We also want to be able to incorporate the OEM sensors. So without having to make a lot of extra brackets or zip tie something on, it'll go ahead and plug right in and in about the same location. So there's no stress on the harnesses, no need for harness extensions, just nice and easy. We also want to make sure that this kit works with a moving engine. As many of you will see when you rev the motor on the stock engine mounts, the engine will move around a bit and this side is mounted to the chassis where this side's mounted to the engine so they need to be able to move relative to each other without interference or rubbing or noise. So that's another one of the things that we had to incorporate into our design concept. So then we got into the design process and the first thing we do is we go and scan the OEM car, we scan the OEM parts, the just kind of surrounding area. We want to get a good idea of what's going on in there and we can actually fit the prototype design in CAD and then we compare that with pictures. Of course, we have cars here that we can go look at throughout the process, but that allows us to get through things pretty quickly and go ahead and start getting prototypes ready to fit in the car. Here we've got the eighth revision of a plastic prototype. As you can see, it's a little bit taped together. We have to print things in pieces for larger, uh, larger prints, but you do have to you know, jig it and make sure it's gonna be kind of true to the original shape. So this is the final eighth version of the intake box we designed along with the tube. So that's a big part of our loop here. We design, print, we have text, look at it and install it. Sales and marketing comes by. Everyone kind of gets a little bit of input so that we can make something that we think you're really gonna like. So our final concept incorporated a couple of things that we thought were really important outside of our main concepts. And that is first, we wanted, as the air comes in, we want to get as much air surrounding the filter with as much pressure as we can going through the tube. So as the air comes in, your filter is situated about here in the middle. And we wanted to use this volume here so that you could have a little bit of a swirl effect and surround the filter with as much high pressure air as we could get in there. And in the tube section, what we did was we want the air going straight into the turbocharger inlet here with a silicone coupler so that if you do change, then all we have to change is the coupler. This remains the same. So the flow goes straight in and there's a very slight reduction in area to keep the air velocity up and minimize the size of the boundary layer when the air is flowing into the engine. And then here we have our uh, factory temperature sensor and our factory PCV fitting. Everything fits right on. And this is a grommet we had custom made that will seal around the tube and seal around the box, but it allows for quite a bit of movement when the engine's rocking back and forth as you get on and off of it. So with the finished product, we have something that fits directly into the car. We've gone and dyno tested it. We'll have logs soon. We'll have temperatures, pressures, everything. We'll verify that against stock and show you what we've gained and what was lost, which hopefully is some inefficiency. And of course, throughout the process, once you get your prototypes in and you fit everything for real, 
there's always a couple small adjustments. Some of the things we changed were, you know, so that we could have it be both beautiful but cost effective and so that it would fit perfectly when you take it in and out of your car. So we're pretty pleased with how this came out. We'll be doing some more track testing. Actually, this got back. It won its first race at uh, Circuit of the Americas in the Super Lap competition with Jackie Ding driving. Congratulations, Jackie. Good work. So that's our intake for the A90 Supra. We're very excited for you guys to get it in your hands and start running with it. Check in soon at AMSPerformance.com on our YouTube and social media. We're gonna have some performance, some data, and some real life track excursions with our new intake. Thanks for watching. AMSPerformance.com today.